garbage in, garbage out, landfills. When you don't need something, what do you do? You throw it in the trash. You may be throwing things in the trash can in your house. You may eat at a fast food restaurant and throw the paper and plastic cutlery in the big trash can in the restaurant. Once you throw it, you have no connection with it at all. It's gone and you couldn't care less. Where does garbage go after you throw it into the trash can? Well, you may have seen the garbage truck coming to collect the garbage from different buildings. So, you may be aware that the garbage from your house and the houses around you all goes into the big garbage truck. Hmm, then what? The trash goes to a garbage collection centre. It is sorted according to what can be done with it. Trash that can be recycled like things made from metal or plastic are separated for recycling. Trash that can be decomposed like paper or food is separated for composting. Trash that nothing can be done with is sent to be buried. This is what happens to almost half of the trash. So let's see how this happens. There are two ways to bury trash. It can be buried in a dump or in a landfill. A dump is an open hole in the ground where trash is buried and that has various animals like rats, mice and birds swarming around it. This is what we think of when we imagine a garbage dump. Another way of burying trash is by putting it in a landfill. Let's study what a landfill is. A landfill is a carefully designed structure built into or on top of the ground. It is built in such a way that the trash thrown in this does not come in contact with the surrounding environment like the soil and air. Can you guess why this is important? That is because we do not want harmful chemicals from the trash to seep into the soil and damage the soil and the groundwater. Also, the harmful gases that come from the garbage heap can pollute the air too. So, how do we separate the bottom of the landfill from the soil? We can have a lining of clay or plastic at the bottom so that nothing seeps out into the surrounding environment. Remember, we never want this trash to come in contact with the environment. So it is kept away from the water, soil and air. So the trash does not decompose much. This is a landfill, not a compost pile. We do not want it to decompose really since we are not going to get any compost from these materials. It is so important to keep these materials away from the environment that a lot of study and research is done before choosing where and how to build the landfill. The site is chosen in such a way that it will cause minimum harm to the environment. Once the site is chosen, the construction work begins. The site is usually far away from the city or town where no people live. So, 
first roads have to be built so that excavators and construction trucks can reach there then they have to dig out a pit then they construct the landfill when garbage trucks bring trash to the landfill they dump it into the open part then when enough trucks have thrown trash in heavy machines drive over the trash these machines are called compactors they try to flatten out the trash as much as they can after they do that they put a layer of soil on it then they put more trash compact it and then put another layer of soil on top they go on doing this till that part is full then it is covered and closed then a new part is opened for trash to be thrown into when the landfill is full the site is used as a park or a playground or a golf course the two large airports in new york city are built on closed landfills landfills are not a good solution to manage garbage basically we keep the garbage away from air and water so when it does start breaking down it releases a gas called methane methane is a gas that causes global warming and is 21 times more dangerous than carbon dioxide it is also flammable which means it can catch fire and burn so it's also quite dangerous as it breaks down it also forms a liquid called lichet it is very poisonous and dangerous the landfills that we build now have protection so that this liquid does not go into the environment but accidents can happen moreover the landfills that we built earlier did not have this bottom seal so they really pollute the environment around them so as you can see landfills will always present a problem for future generations what did we just learn landfills are a way of dealing with garbage disposal materials that cannot be recycled or composted are sent to the landfill it is important to make sure that the garbage in the landfill does not come in contact with the air water or soil of the environment landfills are not really a good solution for garbage disposals as they release poisonous liquids and greenhouse gases as the garbage breaks down 